Donnie, tell people where we're at. We're in the mortuary. This was not a mort. I don't think this was a mortuary. No mortician. <laughs> I don't think you're a mortician. <laughs> the uh, we're in the damn Nicholson building. Don't say it like that. That's mean. We're in the the the, the nice the nice gorgeous, Nicholson building. Gorgeous Nicholson building. <laughs> That was condemned and we bought it and fixed it. <laughs> so we're in the old building downtown, the big building. The big purple building. All right, so what are we going to do today? Well, I've been looking for like days for stuff and uh, I can't find nothing. So okay. uh, we've got to uh, straighten up a little bit. You have to clean up a little bit. All right, so we're going to see one of your part stashes. Yep, look right here. Look at this real quick. Okay. There's my key machine. Have you got any two by fours? I got a few. Okay. All right, so we're in the bowels of Donnie's storage situation. Storage situation. It's yep. a fairly big building. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, but see, like, why is my uh, commode seat over here? Yeah, that's a commode seat. It shouldn't be with paint sprayer. That's I true. I will never find it. If, if you were looking for a commode seat, would you look with the paint sprayer? No, no, I would not. Okay. Okay, then we go this way. See, I started cleaning all this stuff up and getting it right. This is my tile. I got one foot, and that's the good ones. These is the, we need a little bit of work on. Mm -hmm. These are the, uh, we can probably still use them. These are the, damn, we better cut holes in them to make them work. And then you go into this. This is. So these are old ceiling, tin ceiling tiles <coughs> from the 1930s that uh, Donnie's saving and using because they went in this building he's trying to put them back. These here are, oh shit, they don't make them no more. Yeah, we they don't make figure, those particular ones anymore. We gotta figure out how to save those. Mm -hmm. These are, I think that's trash, but you better go through it one more time. We might need it. Yep. These are all cornice. cornice boards. It's the, the crown molding. Mm -hmm. What? They all have them now. There's a window up there that leaks water. Okay, this is all the crown molding Paint here. Paint is falling off the wall. This here, I don't know why the hell that's in this building, but they're so nice I didn't want to throw them out. Mm -hmm. That uh, was underneath the balcony here. We'll probably won't use it again, but right there is the brand new ones. Yeah, there's some new ones. Okay, now we're beginning to, to get into the uh, the debris field. See, all this right here was left over from the, the trailer when we did it. Okay. So we brought it in here real quick and just dumped it down there. Those that, are that's the those are the plumbing uh, uh, cans that you use to plumb the, the whenever we were under the, the uh, mobile home mm -hmm. and we couldn't figure out how to get the top off. Yep, that's it. That's the actual cans right there. You could probably sell those on eBay if you autographed them. We'll wait another couple of years. They might be worth some more. Okay. Money. Yep. And like right here is all the trim from that that same project. Yeah. We just kind of dumped it here. So the stuff's just kind of laying around. We need to clean it all up. Right there is a uh, five hundred dollar bottle of uh, R one thirty four. Most people can't get that right now. I mean R twenty two. Most people can't get that right now. R twenty two refrigerant. Yeah, that's five six hundred bucks now. They stopped making that, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to get. Okay. And Let's keep going. Let's show them what, what all we, we, uh, oh, like this, like this is the paint from the, uh, from the Notice he's board. wielding, uh, lights, like lightsabers. <laughs> this, got is, one uh, each this is the paint from the grocery store mm -hmm. and stuff from the grocery store. So we need to get it all categorized right there. Some tin, some more tin tile, some old saloon, saloon doors, old paint bucket. My electrician don't know how to put shit up. Here's some more electrical lines, uh, hot water heaters. Crap everywhere. Look, yo, right there. Let's talk about the Insta Hot. That's one of them Insta Hots. Them damn things ain't worth nothing. We yeah, done, they don't work that great. We done put three of them things in. I mean, God almighty. Put in a regular water heater for now, people. Yep. Unless you go, I mean, the real expensive ones might work good. That, that they, one don't work. <laughs> they cost more than a hot water tank, and they don't work half as good. But anyway, we got all kinds of other paint here. That's for the deck on a mobile home. 
Mm -hmm. um, there's more plumbing stuff. And basically, we need to get it all up here, like right there. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four commode rebuild kits. And there's one sitting there, so that's five. Why do we need five? If we knew they was there, we could have used them. Yeah, we keep rebuying stuff because we don't know what we got in stock. And like, caught one, two, three. I seen one over there, four. There's another one up there, five. So just to clarify, this stuff wasn't all here when you bought the building. We put all this stuff in. We put all this in here. So we need to get it all straightened up and organized. But you understand there's not there's not really a hardware store per se in town or a Lowe's or Home Depot or a big place in town. So we've got to keep all this stuff on stock. If somebody calls and says the commode's running all the time, I've got to go over and fix it. And I've got stuff right here to do it. So we have to keep this stuff, but we got to get a little more organized. Mm -hmm. And then like, here's all that wire out of the grocery store that we tore out. Remember that? Yep, the grocery store, all that extra wire. Yep. So, you know, just constant. There's our pipe organ. There's a pipe organ. You know, we just keep one of them around. Uh, there's some fluorescent lights. There's some lights that come out of the grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, back there. Okay, back here, we go to our ladder. Don't fall over that ladder. The, uh, now, people, we don't have anything expensive in here. So, uh, if you break in, you're risking your life for nothing. <laughs> yeah, really. A couple old nail guns up there, a couple old circular saws, another nail gun, and just, you know, tools. That right there. Y'all comment below and tell me what that is. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, I'll give you a hint. Something to do with plumbing. What, what's in this room over here? These are my doors. Hey, we're, no, I ain't seen that yet. Never mind. But there's a bunch of doors there. Mm hmm. Pretty and cool. some more doors over there. Mm hmm. That's a new door there, right? What the hell is that door going on? Oh, that's the one out the back of that green door. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. And look right there, y'all. Huh. Wonder why that's there. It's plumbed for a toilet. Huh. Huh. <laughs> plumbed for a sink. Huh. Huh. And the sink ain't even over there. Mm-hmm. That would be stairs. that would be a good cubby hole to put a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Hide it. And look, this is the kind of shit we're dealing with, people. Yeah, we're gonna show you. This is the old electrical in the building. And uh, we're not. We're hooking that back up. And then just. And then. Oh yeah. Hell, that's good in comparison to some of the shit I've seen. We're not gonna use the stuff. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start straightening things up. We'll come back when we get it a little uh, more organized. All right, Donnie, so we've been cleaning for how long? Too damn long. It's been at least an hour, at least, probably even longer. Okay, so show everybody what all you did. Move my commode seat. Yep, so the commode seat has been removed and moved and placed up where it goes. We forgot the light. But we'll get what light? Oh yeah, we'll get that. Okay. So, so what did you do in this part? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Why is there a damn bucket of sand here? There's a bucket of sand that appears to have gas in it too. Okay. Well, Why would it have gas there. in this? Okay. But right here is where we started working. Oh yeah, it does look a little better. You put a. There was some trash all through there. That wasn't trash. That was. I money. mean stuff. That was money laying there. Money laying there. That's right. That's we true. We picked it all up. Now, what do you mean by that was money? People might not know what you mean by that. Well, uh, a penny gained is a penny earned. Is a penny saved is a penny earned. That's yeah, true. That's right. That's what you're just like Benjamin Franklin. The uh, if you got a nail there, like that nail laying there, mm -hmm. if I need it, it's going to cost me. That nail would probably cost me sixty, seventy cents. Mm -hmm. Well, if I pick it up and know where it's at, so sixty pennies saved. Yeah. It'd be 60 pennies earned. Yep, uh -huh. that's true. That's a good point. So we're going down here. So you moved all that stuff. Where'd you put it? Down here. We'll get to that. Okay. We'll wow. There was a bunch of stuff there that's gone now. This was mostly trash. Mm-hmm. We threw it all the way. We took 10 trash bags of trash out of here. Can you believe it? 10 mm -hmm. trash bags. I can believe it. My whole damn truck's full. 
Okay. Watch the hole. The hole. hole now look, if y'all have an old building and the roof is leaking, don't put particle board in the floor. Yeah, we didn't do that, people. This particle building board. is still a work in progress. Look, okay. they put particle board here and look at it swelling. They had a roof leak right above it. Yeah, that was a bad oh. idea. They shouldn't have done that. But anyway, right here we are. Oh, yeah, okay. See our two doors. If you go back, you'll see our two doors in the thing. You didn't touch I'm those, Donnie. They're in the exact same. So they'll know where we are in the progress here. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We didn't touch the buckets. So what's going on with the buckets? Are those how they were? Yeah. Okay. They're empties. Okay. They're empty. All right. Okay. You go over beside that. We got our paint for our roof. Yes. Roof paint. Roof paint. On top of that, we got our butyl tape. For, for the metal roofing. Yes. Now, okay. Ronnie. Now, <clears throat> I was an intelligent man at one point. Uh -huh. But why in the hell do I have four panel boxes there? That's for electrical panels. But why do we got four? We How many buildings have we got? Yeah, but we ain't gonna replace the electrical panels. We, well now, if we ever do, the panels are right there. Okay. Good to go. Okay, we got a little uh, uh, 75,000 BTU heater. Yeah. It don't work. I think it was already there. It was already there, but it don't work. Okay. So now we got a paint bucket. I don't know what the hell's in that paint bucket. It's probably paint. But beside that, here we go. Here's okay. the plumbing. Here. Now we're running into the area that we actually worked on. Okay. The plumbing. I, ever, this is what people have been tuned in for. This is the exciting part of the video. Uh, plumbing. Plumbing. Plumbing section. Lots of, uh, of uh, PVC. Fittings. What do they call that? They call it dr uh, drain, vent, and waste. waste. Yeah. I don't know what order. <laughs> PVW. PVC. WDV. Something. PVC. Okay. Now, what is that box on top there? It's uh, that's the commode seat. The commode seat because it should be in the plumbing section. Yep. yep. It makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. that, What's that behind it on the wall there? That's another electrical panel. Yeah, there's another electrical panel cover. Okay. And then uh, some more PVC and stuff. And it, oh, and the hey, the the uh, hot water heater thing is over yep, there. It was over. laying right here before. So it has been moved over to that area. It has been moved. Okay. This is our cleaning area. See this? Cleaning supplies. We got Clorox. We got Clorox and didn't even know we had Clorox. Mm hmm. Remember when it got all expensive for the coronavirus? That's probably the damn bottle I bought. Yeah, we like had to pay extra because they were gouging prices. What was it, like $15, $16 for a gallon of Clorox? It was something stupid. I mentioned it in the video of cleaning uh, yeah, the mobile something home. About it. Now, what are the, what's the paper up there on the top? Now, all this is files. Uh huh. They're not our files. Well, they are our files. I bought those damn files. That's true. Well, so, we bought the building. These are old files and old documents from the town. Now, everybody said from the town. Whoever the hell owned this building must have owned all of the town because we've got all of the documents from town. And uh, it's like tax documents and uh, payment documents and shipping and stuff. Uh, shipping and receiving. Now, what's in that box down there at your foot? That big one that's about the size of a Christmas tree. That's more. More paperwork. Stuff. Yep. Receipts, stuff like that from several businesses that were operated in this building and around town. So, like, you know. Go ahead and show them one, Donnie. It ain't going to hurt nothing. These people are long gone. There's uh, Jimmy's. Jimmy Paul's. Is that right? James. What? Paul? Something. All anyway, right. that's all. Oh, that's his time card, isn't it? No, yeah. Monday, 8th to. Mm -hmm. Whatever, Tuesday 8 to 12, Wednesday 8 to 12. I don't know. And he even worked on Saturday. Yep. $30. Uh, uh, 14850 is what he got paid for 54 hours. Mm hmm. Is that right? Yeah. That ain't no 54 hours. That can't be. 5, 4, 4, 3, and 3. That ain't no 54. Maybe they were behind on payment, paying them. I don't know, people. It's a bunch but of stuff anyway. like that. So the reason it's on the shelf is because we can't figure out most of what it is. But one of these days, we're going to sit down. And figure it all out. There ain't no way in hell I'm gonna throw something like that away. And then, you know, we got stuff like that. That's, I believe, the old checkbook. This building was in rough shape when we bought it, y'all. Lots of water damage. Yeah, it's old checkbook. Uh huh. Okay. But stuff like that, you know, we can't throw that kind of stuff away. We got to look at it and see what it is. But once we go through it, we'll probably burn it at that point. Now, um, we uh, there was a big mess in here and the trash needed cleaned up 
The trash needed cleaning. It was were we not cleaning up the trash because we were out of trash bags? Yes, we were cleaning up the junk because we was out of trash bags. And then we started looking around, and cleaning found, up the junk. We found some trash bags. We found some trash bags. So there's a box down there. What's in that box? There's two boxes. The two. It's full of trash bags. Full of trash bags. Full of trash bags. Full of trash bags. And there's another three or four rolls there. And uh, there's another roll down there. So we had about 10 or 12 rolls of trash bags laying around all over the place, situated uh, strategically, so that if you needed a trash bag, you could easily reach one, apparently. Yeah, we had them everywhere, and we still didn't use them. <coughs> but we're back on track. Okay, all right. I'll back out so they can see a little okay, more uh, of the cleanliness. Here's the rags. Paper okay. towels and rags. Oh, yeah. Paper towels and rags. That is, like, it's kind of sorted. Yeah. <coughs> and behind it there, you have the plumbing stuff that's right next to the plumbing stuff. That's the commode stuff. So the oh, commode, okay. paper towel, rags. Donnie, here you go with that again. Moving on. Moving We're moving on. moving right Ooh. along. Here we go. This is the uh, paint section. You know, we said we had some kills earlier. In a video yesterday, about, we talked about kills. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um, there it is. So now if you go back and find out when I talked about kills, you'll know about when we did this video. That's true. Yep. Yep. So, yep. so what is that stuff there next to it? This is tape. For drywall. Drywall tape. Now okay. underneath the drywall tape, look at this. Look at this. Wham! Put it Drywall knife. Beside the drywall knife? Bam! Saw for the drywall. Uh-huh. Won't be any more drywall problems. Right here. You know, paintbrush. Oh, it's a new one. I looked a long time for paintbrush the other week. Uh huh. Hey, that one we used earlier. Did you rinse that out? No, I did not. Throw it away. Okay. Donnie just buys new paintbrushes and throws them away because they're four dollars, and that's easier than rinsing them out. Not with damn top coat plastic. I ain't trying to rinse that shit out. Uh huh. Well, you only showed them, Donnie. You're supposed to be giving a tour, and you just showed one shelf. There's other shelves. Oh. Well, this is my tape tape section tape section along with oh that's for the uh that's the chalk chalk line. line that makes sense now if y'all noticed the just the other day i was complaining about not having sandpaper yeah that's i true. had to go to the next i had to go across the street there and buy some paper and had to put it on tape and all that look what we found sand paper there's a box and there's another box brand new people nos that's been sitting here probably since about 2010 that's the ones we did on the mobile home that's oh, okay we well, they're not that old then those but are anyway, still fresh the uh i went and spent 45 dollars on sandpaper when we had it right there so yep. that's the kind of stuff we need to figure out and keep track of show them the finishing nails finishing nails here no one's next to them. Finishing nails here, finishing nails here, finishing nails those here. Those ones, we needed them just the other day. We Same story. Couldn't find them. 20, now we got plenty. $25 a box. Mm -hmm. So, um, sandpaper over here. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You still skipped about five shells. Okay, we'll drop down here. Right, we See, did paint. Look, uh -huh. that's why they put all the shit on Home Depot in this shelf here. Oh, that's all you Because everybody pencil. looks at it. That's nobody true. Nobody looks at the feet. Nobody looks at the ceiling. Everybody looks right there that's, in the middle. That's, that's a good point. So, in other words, if you got a retail space, get your shelves up higher. Okay. So, paint. We got wood we filler stains. We already did the paint. Damn, we did the paint. Down below it. Okay, plumbing again. Uh-huh. And a jack. That jack we had used to jack this building up, believe it or not. It worked um, pretty good. Four the, ton. Uh, You'd think that the building would weigh more than that, but it worked just perfect. We had two of them when we got in real heavy shit. The okay. uh, plumbing. Yep. Plumbing. Mm -hmm. Plumbing. That hey. plumbing, that one little box there. That little box? That's out of a Donkey Kong cocktail table, I think. Why did you steal that? Because it's full of fittings. Okay, all right. The fittings. I might have to uh, uh, repurpose that again whenever I fix my Donkey Kong cocktail. <laughs> uh -huh. Might need that back one of these days. Don't throw that, it away. You think that come from that? I don't know. It might be. It looks like it's out of a of an arcade game. I'm pretty sure that come out of the uh, service body truck that I took them fittings out of. But whatever. Okay, it might be. Could be. But we got paint down there on the bottom. We got the white. We've got the red. We got the red. We got the red. We got the white. We've got. Now remember, so, I told everybody that I always paint everything red or brown. 
like a reddish brown. We are. We've got a brown back there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, here we go. We got paint thinner. That's something we're going to need. Why do we have so much? We got to clean out. The paint Did we get a cell? No. You got to clean out the paint sprayer. And uh, why is the bottle of pine saw still unopened? It's not. It's been opened a little bit. Okay. <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> Never mind. The uh, <coughs> the lacquer thinner there. You, I mean the paint thinner. You've got to have it for oil based paint. So when we're using Kiehl's primer. We use that sometimes. Yeah. Just sometimes we use it. Mm -hmm. The uh, we need to clean out the sprayer, so we uh, pss, pss, we run that through it. So uh, why, now you can go ahead and tell them what you use the kills primer and the spray gun for, spray thing for. The roof, the ceiling. If you're painting uh, tin ceiling tiles, you have to. Have you're it. rusty. You need oil based. Uh, like Even kills. if they're not rusty, you have to put an oil base first. Because yeah. they become rusty yeah. if you don't, mm -hmm. because the water base. Like and we've this, done some this of that. Stuff like right oh, yeah, we'll show you an old tile that we haven't messed with yet. Okay. That's the shape that the stuff in this building was in. Not all of it. Some of it's been repaired. We'll get to that down the road. But um, then we'll go over here. We're going to stay on the bottom. The top coat that we used today, actually, I went and bought, a, I bought that. The so this is this is what started this whole thing, folks. To show them what happened today, Donnie. Now this was some nonsense here. I'm trying not to cuss. I bought this. Donnie, there was a leak, a little leak in one of the buildings in the on the metal roof, an old metal roof, 40 year old metal roof. And so Donnie went to the store and bought roof coating, Lasto Merit roof coating, so that he could fix the leak. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Gets here. We find that we already had it, but that's the be even better stuff. Yeah, this is like a hundred dollars. Yeah. So then we thought, well, we're always buying crap we don't need because we don't know where anything is. So then we decided we we're going to sort everything. One, two, three, <laughs> four. So that's the, the paper that you put on the roof, the, the cloth that you put on the roof for the seams and stuff. We already had four of them. Three of them. Okay. Um, come up from there. There's some more lacquer thinner. Some uh, of paint supplies. Paint, paint. paint. Uh, Ronnie likes these brushes. These are the only brushes Ronnie can use. He loves these things. My mom got them hooked on them way back when. I ain't never used one of them brushes. <laughs> he loves them things. But we go up. We got that easy sand. Y'all seen us use it? Easy sand. He's very proud of that. He gave it a spot of prominence on the show. We're hoping it ain't gonna go bad. Yeah. Um, but that's basically what we're trying out there to see if it's gonna go bad. Mm -hmm. Sandpaper. Yeah. Uh, bunch of screws and anchors and stuff. Them's the blue uh, anchor screws and roofing screws. What do they call them? Blue screws. Uh, tap cons. Tap cons. Tap cons. Yep. We we'll go over here. We got locks. Some locks for old doors, for old stuff. doors and stuff blah, like blah. that. This is just a, a catch-all. It's yep. got all screws and bolts and uh, washers and stuff like that. Yep. Anchors. Mm-hmm. Tape. You already did chalk. That. You already did, did that. all that. Did that. We didn't do that. Oh yeah. This here we've had this for a hundred years. Donnie. Twenty years. Neither one of us. Fifteen years. Is all that old or not a hundred? The roof we was working on today, if you've seen, that yeah. was the screw. That screw had popped loose on the roof, and that's why it was leaking water. Now, you might say, why in the hell are you putting screws that big in the roof? We didn't, well, we put those in, but it's because they nailed the metal on the roof originally, and all of the nails were sticking up about an inch when we bought the building. So we tried to uh, put the nails back down and they wouldn't hold because the hole was watered out because so much water ran in there. So we tried the screws, but if you look at a screw, like this screw here is real thin. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't grab because it was the same size as the nail. So we had to go up. We went up one size on the screw. And when we did that, now the seals don't fit. So we had to custom order seals. And right there's all the seals that we custom ordered. Mm -hmm. That was 15 years ago. Yep. So... 
anyway, up top here is hardwood flooring samples. Why would you have hardwood flooring samples? Because we wanted to sample and see what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we got knee pads. Oh, right here. Right here is something everybody knows what they are. Everybody watches this channel knows what this is. Oh, yeah. That's the little motors. That's the motors out of the uh, clock out front. Clock out front. Mm -hmm. Everybody always talks about that clock. There's the motors. Um, we go this way and we get to our... Uh, fire that's, extinguisher. That's for if you have a fire, you spray that crap on it. It now, stops fire. Stop fires fast. Now look, if we got a fire in this band building, we're gonna need a little more than that. We're gonna try that, <laughs> but we're gonna know where the damn exit is at the same time. This right here is an angle gauge. It'll tell you the angle that you're on. You need to know that when you you're working with uh, pitches and roofs. Oh, I think uh, like our buddy the gnome stutter had yeah, one of them. He had one of those. Mm -hmm. The other day when he was working on his uh, roof, his pipe, pipe, stove pipe. We've got a uh, odor eater, odor eater, ionizer thing, ionizer thing. air oh. purificator. Y'all, I don't know. We've been trying it. We've been trying it. I don't know. I don't know if I would. Uh, What's this big enough. blue box here, Diamond? This big blue box. We got a deal on some uh, electrical fittings the other week. We bought uh, we bought a few electrical. I think it's full of like every kind of fitting you can think of. A lot of them are like couplers and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, we got all those, and then we drop over here. We got those in that same deal. Different sizes. Different sizes and stuff. So all this is our electrical section. We got, got some electrical stuff. Got some electrical stuff. Some stuff we'd never use. It shouldn't be on the shelf. Some a lot stuff. of this stuff we would go to the store and buy like face cut, face plates for uh, uh, light switches, and then go back and buy another few, and then go back and buy another few, and then go back and buy another few, and eventually we've got like a hundred of each because of this. We never know where any of our stuff is. <laughs> so. And you got to get the job done, you know, regardless. Uh, but even at that, all this stuff here ain't that much money. Yeah. If you look at it, it's not. It's not like we're hoarding thousands of dollars here. It's hundreds of dollars, but it ain't thousands. So, right here, this is this is what I like the most about holding that thing. This right here. That was in the building when we bought it. I still like it better than anything on this damn shelf. And it's an old mixer that just was in here. Just like the old pipe organ. Not pipe organ, but electric organ. The, uh, One of these days I'm going to fix that. The inside of it is a lot like, you know, it's old uh, electronic stuff. So it can be fixed like an old arcade game. Uh, that's good. We don't need to show them the tools. Well, there you go, people. We got it a little more organized. Hopefully, this will inspire you to get your tool shed organized if you need it to be organized. Yeah, if you don't need to be organized, don't organize it. Yeah. So I'm going to go look at... Now, Donnie promised me he'd organize one other part of the building. So I'm going to go look and make sure that he organized that like he said he was going to. So let's go look at that real quick. Donnie. I've been trying. You said you cleaned it all up. I've been trying. Why do you have... Are those TVs? I've been trying, man. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to keep working on it. All right, people. Tell them what to do, Donnie. Y'all subscribe to the channel. If you hadn't already, give us a thumbs up for filming it, and uh, hopefully we'll get this shit cleaned up one day. We'll see you on the next one.